apparatus and today we're going to assemble the Manhattan crib. Make sure you have all the proper pieces and hardware and if anything is missing, please call consumer care. One way to know you're working with the correct hardware is to compare them with the illustrations that come in the instructions. Like that. The first step is to attach the ends of the crib to one of the sides of the crib. And for this, we will need six 45 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. Also, to know you're working on the correct side, please use the labels as guidance. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. That's it. The second step is to attach the mattress support. And for this, you will need four 18 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. Remember to use the highest position for your newborn and then go downwards as your child grows. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. In order to make the next step easier, we're going to leave the last corner of the mattress support a little loose. And that's it. The third step is to attach the other side of the crib. And for this, we will need six 45 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. Also, remember to always use the labels as guidance. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. Remember to tighten up the last corner of the mattress support. That's it. For the fourth step, we're going to attach the feet of the crib. And for this, we will need four feet, four foot brackets, 16 40 millimeter bolts, 16 barrel nuts, and four 25 millimeter bolts. And don't forget the provided Allen wrench. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. Remember to always insert the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through. Remember to always use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt.
that's it. Remember to put the instructions back in the pouch they came in. You're going to need them later. Congratulations, you've just assembled your Manhattan crib. Now we're going to convert your crib into a day bed. Remember those instructions you put away? You're going to need them. Your mattress support should be on its lowest position since your child is now older. The first step is to remove the feet of the crib. And for this, you're only going to need the provided Allen wrench. The second step is to remove one of the sides of the crib. In order to make this step easier, you should loosen one of the corners of the mattress support. And that's it. Now we're going to attach the stabilizer bar. And for this, we will need two 45 millimeter bolts, two half moon washers, and two metal pins. And don't forget the provided Allen wrench. The washers and bolts are gonna go behind the stabilizer bar. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. And that's it. Now we're going to reattach the feet and for this we will need 16 40 millimeter bolts and 16 barrel nuts. And don't forget the provided Allen wrench. Don't forget to put the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through. Use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. Don't forget to tighten the corner of the mattress support that you loosened up. And that's it. Congratulations, you've just converted your crib into a day bed. Toddler guardrails are available for purchase.